and this really allows me some room to not always have to be like on top of my shit because it's impossible for me to be on top of every single little thing hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know me my name is beth and i post all types of video college video vlogs just sit down and talks with me and tutorials sometimes and today we're gonna get right into it we're gonna be talking about my top three advice on staying organized throughout the whole semester something to keep in mind i am a sociology and political science major so a lot of my tips are gonna have to be doing with how to keep up with large readings how to keep up with writing essays if you're looking for more of a sciencey kind of vibe this is not the video for you because i don't take a lot of science classes or math classes but i do have good tips on how to stay on track with your schoolwork so if you want to know tips about that stay tuned let's get right into it so the first tip that I have is a tip that you will hear almost everywhere but I'm gonna go into detail about it it is making a routine for yourself this is critical to having a momentum but also doing schoolwork when you don't really want to do schoolwork so let me explain myself I have notes on my phone so if I'm looking down, that's why. But on Mondays and Tuesdays, I have class from 11.40 to about 4 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have class from 1 to 4 p.m. On Wednesdays, I have a late class, it ends at 6. So most of my days, I end at 4 p.m. and start at 11 or 1. So because of this, I like to do most of my homework in the morning because I know that after class, I am brain dead. I am not the type of student to stay up late at night because I just can't. I don't want to and one thing about me is that once I want to go to sleep, I will go to bed and those assignments are tomorrow's problem. Because of that, what I try to do is that I wake up, I try to wake up around 8 or 9 a.m. Sometimes I like tried 5 a.m. I tried that whole routine but this semester it didn't work for me but I was waking up around 8 and 9 and I will wake up, I will shower, get ready in about an hour and then I will spend depending on the day I will spend two to three hours just going ahead and doing my readings so I always try to read in the morning because that is the best time for me if I also have an assignment that I have due I will also work on it in the morning I really really try to make my classes the last thing I do in the day but you know things aren't perfect so if I ever have to add something else in there I will work on it after class but my goal is always to get a lot of my readings done in the morning so i wake up and i know that i'm getting ready and it's to do my readings nothing else but this isn't a routine for everybody if your routine means that after class you are going to the, straight to the library that is great but make a routine for yourself instead of cramming in on one day you are working a little bit each day but also give yourself some breaks like on Fridays a lot of the time I don't do any readings or any schoolwork because I do work and Fridays are my busy busiest busiest days for working so next we're gonna be talking about the apps that I use to stay organized and these apps are Notability, Notion, and Google Calendar I'm going to break down how I use each app and how they stay connected with each other so let's start with google calendar here i put all my meetings and also time chunk here i know all my schedules i schedule all my meetings i work online so i have a lot of meetings online so everything on there is just kind of like the everyday meetings that i have to go through everyday classes and also put office hours i make different calendars for everything so i have a calendar for my classes i have a calendar for my work and i have a calendar for office hours so everything is not on the calendar at once whenever i want to look at it i go ahead and click each calendar notion notion is where i keep track of my everyday weekly to-do list the week before on thursdays i would have already scheduled when i'm gonna do each reading for example mondays my to-do list will have my to-do list for content and then my to-do list for school and my to-do list for for work so throughout the day during my time chunks which i time chunk on google calendar i fill in the things that i have to do so for example if on my google calendar i have do readings from 8 a.m to 11 a.m i will go ahead and then go to notion look at my to-do list for that day which will be the readings or the assignments that i have for that day and i will go down the list and do things accordingly also i will time chunk okay from 5 p.m to 7 p.m i'm gonna be recording content so i go down that to-do list for the content and do 
things according so they all all match the last app that i use is notability and this is a lifesaver in here i do all of my um readings i annotate and i do all of my class notes but in here i go ahead and just break my subjects at the beginning of the semester into little subjects and then inside the subjects i go at the beginning of the semester and look through each of my syllabuses and make sure how many units each class has so for example my power politics and society class had three big units and in each unit i will put my reading notes so those are like the articles that i'm reading the text that i'm reading and I will annotate it as I go and then I will put my notes for the class for that kind of unit so everything is in one place very easy to find whenever I want to study whenever I want to look for information and it's just very easy and convenient because everything is on my iPad okay let's talk about readings so I'm a uh, pretty much like political sociology that's what I want to do and I'm concentrating in human rights so I have a lot a lot of readings sometimes I have like a whole book for one class and I really do try to keep up with my readings I know some students are just kind of like oh I don't care about the readings I just go to class I really like what I'm studying and I am the type of person that tells myself like if I'm at college I might as well take advantage of the resources that I'm getting because a lot of people in my community aren't privileged enough to be in the place that I am at so I really do try to try my hardest in keeping up with class but you know that's this isn't a perfect system like sometimes i get depressed and i can't do any with schoolwork anyways this is my overall schedule for my readings so as i said i try to do my readings in the morning but that is not the most important part the most important part and the things that make it the most easier to really keep up with my readings is to prep before i do my readings so every single thursday i go ahead and i break down my classes so i have five classes right class one two three four five right I go on a Thursday and I go to class one and I will say okay next week Thursday are my last week of classes so next week so Monday what is due Monday and what is due once for class one so class one is Monday and Wednesday so I go and say what is due Monday and what is due Wednesday I write it down for class two what is due Tuesday what is due Thursday for that class I write it down what is due this what is due this what readings are due so now i have a list of all the readings due in that week so i go ahead and i go to canvas i go to coursework which is where I, all my readings are at all my books and from there i download the readings to notability and i label them the date and i label it the, read, the reading name so so and i put it in each class subject okay so I pretty much just take all my readings for the week and I put it in in its specific folder in a specific place where it's supposed to be. Therefore, when I go to do my readings during the weekend or next week, everything's in place. So I don't have to be scrambling trying to find where the readings is at. No, I just look It's Saturday, right? I'm going to work on the readings for Monday and I just go down that list and it has the dates, it has the reading, it has the class amazing system really works for me and i have adhd so sometimes little things seems like a big task so something as small as having to download the reading before i read it will literally put me off and i won't do it so this is a very useful tip to just prep yourself for success the week before i take those readings and i will put on notion what day i'm doing each reading so if i'm doing it on thursday i tell myself friday you're not doing anything so no readings on Friday. Saturday, you're gonna read Monday's reading. Monday's reading for class one. You're gonna do Monday's reading for class two. That's it. Sunday, you're gonna do Monday's, um, you're gonna do Tuesday's reading for class three and four. These are just examples. By Monday and Tuesday, the readings for Monday and Tuesday are already done, or at least the readings for Monday. So Monday and Tuesday, I will be doing readings for Wednesday and Thursday or assignments for Wednesday and Thursday. That is always the goal. This is not a perfect system. Sometimes the readings are very, very big. So I will end up doing Monday's reading, finishing Monday's reading in the morning. With this system, this has allowed me to lay back a little bit sometimes when I mess up or have some room for mistakes. For example, I have depression, which means that some days I just don't want to do anything. And if that happens on a Monday, I know, okay, well, on Saturday and Sunday, I did the readings for Monday, so that's okay. I'll just do the readings for Tuesday tomorrow morning and this really allows me some room to not always have to be like 
on top of my shit because it's impossible for me to be on top of every single little thing all right this was a quick little video but i wanted to add little little tips here and there little secret tips of mine um fast pace for you guys and let me know if you guys would want another video about this one extra tip that i have for you guys is at the beginning of the semester go through all your syllabuses and write down all your assignments in a google doc or on notion and like that you have an overview of all your assignments and reading so when you're going throughout the week you know that you're not missing anything this is very time consuming but very helpful to keeping track also if you ever fall off the wagon you can just look at your spreadsheet and hop straight back on something else that has really helped me stay organized is keeping my room clean and organized your room really is a representation of your mind it's a way for me to view the world the way i want my mind to work the last tip that i'm gonna give you guys is bro don't be afraid to talk to your teachers they understand students more than students understand themselves because they see much more students experience life than you yourself can see yourself pretty much so really talk to your teachers and ask them for help if nobody's there for you you're there for you and you make a system that works for you and you keep on trying no matter how much you fall off it does not matter how much you fail because when you succeed nothing else will matter if you're a student watching this getting ready for next semester or just panicking about next semester i hope you had a great semester now that it's ending good luck on finals and take a break before worrying about next semester okay Okay, good luck. Let me know if you want any more types of these videos because I got a lot more tips. I am that school junkie that watches so many videos about all this shit and have tried so many different systems. So let me know and I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time. Mwah. I'm loving the vibe that you're giving me. I'm thinking my heart can be safe. A feeling I needed and there I can breathe again, making it.